Hello, I'm Rick Jankum, Morning Coordination Meteorologist at the National Weather Service in Paducah, Kentucky, and I'd like to talk to you today about the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlooks. The previous uh, outlooks issued by the Storm Prediction Center consisted of four categories, a C text, a slight risk severe category, a moderate risk severe, and a high risk severe. And when we say severe, of course, we're referring to our traditional definition of severe, which is winds of at least 58 miles an hour or hail at least one inch in diameter or tornadoes. One of those three would comprise uh, a storm as, or categorize a storm as being severe. So how has that changed? Well, the new or current Storm Prediction Center Outlook categories as of October 16th, 2014 are marginal, which replaces the previous C text outlook and of course uh, provides a specific geographic area since it's now outlined. Secondly, the slight risk uh, as we've had in the past, except the slight risk actually is for the lower end of the slight risk, previous slight risk categories, because now we have the enhanced risk, which replaces the upper end of the slight risk category. Uh, it is not a moderate risk area. We do maintain the moderate risk area as well as the high risk for severe. So we have the two new categories uh, in late, starting in late 2014, the marginal and the enhanced areas. Here's a outlook that uh, was issued on November 17, 2013, which included several strong and even deadly tornadoes in our region, the Brookport tornado uh, of that day. Uh, and as you can see, for this given outlook, we have the slight, the moderate, and the high risk areas uh, in our region and to the northeast. And uh, the green area, by the way, is just the general thunderstorm area within that area where thunderstorms are forecast, but not uh, forecast in general to be severe. And here we've got another one uh, issued before the new outlooks. Uh, and we can see here we have the general thunderstorm area and then the slight risk area across the Gulf Coast states extending back to the northeast Texas uh, uh, Gulf Coast area. And here is a new outlook. If we took uh, the probability outlooks from that particular day, uh, we could determine uh, where the new outlook categories would fit into that previous outlook. And you can see from that we have the dark green area, which is the marginal risk area. And uh, this area, uh, kind of the brown or rusty orange area, which is now the enhanced area. So we would have the two additional areas on this for this given outlook. Now let's look at a day with uh, much more weather activity, and that was April 27, 2011, uh, a day, unfortunately, that uh, quite a few fatalities occurred. In fact, 324 people were killed in this major tornado outbreak that extended from April 25th through April 28th. But on this particular day, most of those occurred uh, that there were 211 tornadoes on this one day uh, compared to 355 tornadoes total during this uh, April 25th to 28th outbreak. Uh, four EF5 tornadoes uh, occurred and that's what produced most of the fatalities as well as um, several EF4s and dozens of EF3s as well. But in this day we have this again a slight moderate and high, high risk area but let's take a look uh, how it would look with the new uh, outlook and we would see an enhanced area that extends uh, much further to the northeast and surrounds the moderate and high risk. Uh, and again if we look at the probabilistic outlook area and you'll notice that the enhanced area pretty much mirrors the 30 percent probability area for the wind. And the probabilistic outlooks if you look at those there's actually three there's the wind the hail and the tornado and the categorical outlooks which are the uh, marginal enhanced or slight enhanced moderate and high uh, are basically derived from those probabilistic outlooks uh, so you can get more detail if you want to dig that deep uh, by going into the probabilistic outlooks but uh, I'll show you a chart in a bit that will basically show how we 
come to the categories based on the probabilistic outlooks. Uh, but also noticed in here with the wind, again, this is for the wind, a 45% area and a hatched area. When it, you see the hatched area, uh, in the case of wind, that means that winds uh, of 75 miles an hour or greater uh, are possible. In fact, there's a 45% possibility of those occurring within 25 miles of any point within that hatched area that you see there, which in this case mirrors the 45% area. Uh, if we go further, we look at the hail part of the probabilistic outlooks. We can see that extends a bit further to the south. Uh, toward the Gulf Coast there, and that comes into play in producing the categorical outlooks as does the tornado outlook that we have here, which extends certainly further toward the uh, Mississippi River on the south side and in Kentucky, uh, extends further toward central Kentucky with the hatched area all the way up to uh, near Cincinnati uh, there. So when we combine those, that's how we come up with the eventual categorical outlooks once again. So specifically, what's utilized to determine the categorical outlooks, uh, those five uh, outlook areas, is the probab probabilities here that you see, which range from 2% to 60%, plus you have the significant severe that can be part of those once we get up to the 10% areas at least with the tornado. So uh, let's just pick a couple of these. If we have a 5% area for tornadoes, that would equate to a slight risk within uh, that area would be a slight risk area. Uh, if it was uh, for wind and hail, but say there was just a 2% tornado or no percent tornado for that matter, it would be a marginal risk area. Uh, a 15% area for tornadoes would equate to an enhanced risk, even a 10% area for that matter would. Uh, but 15% area for wind or hail would be a slight risk. But if we go to 30% area for wind and hail, which used to be a slight risk, well that's now a, an enhanced risk area. And for tornadoes that is a moderate risk area. And we'll pick out one more 60% uh, area uh, for tornado, certainly a high risk, even a 30% area if it's a significant severe. Uh, in other words, and that significant severe equals that hatched area. And for tornadoes, by the way, that is tornadoes of an EF2 strength or above. Uh, for wind, again, 75 miles an hour or greater, and hail, two inches or larger. So 60% uh, would be high risk for tornadoes. Um, for wind, 60% uh, would be um, a, mo a moderate risk area, and for hail, also a moderate risk area. So anyway, uh, those are the different um, categorical outlooks based on the probabilistic outlooks that you see. So how would an April 27th type day um, look as far as the outlook? And we would have the high risk, of course, at the core of that, the moderate risk indicated in the red. Here we have the enhanced risk, which was not there on April 27th of 2011. So provide some more definition, especially for folks that don't want to dig into the probabilistic outlooks. And the yellow is still the same slight risk area that we had before. Uh, but also new is the, the marginal risk area uh, that we see here. So in summary, uh, again, we have the five categories currently, the marginal, the slight, the enhanced, the moderate, and the high, with the marginal and the enhanced being the two new categorical outlooks of the Storm Prediction Center. I also want to mention that there is a change to the day four to day eight outlook as of December 16th, 2014, and that is the addition of a 15% area. Uh, currently, or prior to that date, uh, the outlined areas were only for 30% areas, so we will see uh, certainly uh, uh, more outlined areas in the day 4 to 8 range now with the 15% area as well as the 30% area, and those will be discussed within the text uh, as far as which category uh, within the text of the outlooks. And with that, uh, that's all we have for you today. Thank you for tuning in.